So the last you guys saw of Claudia was back in Hawaii, but she recently moved to her place in Miami and has been flying Sunshine over there. And Sunshine's pretty much been at a level one, two based on wind. She's actually flown in some wind because we had some wind in Hawaii on the beach and all that good stuff. But we really wanted to get her up to a level three. So Claudia and Sunshine joined us in Moab. And we started at a level one because Sunshine had never flown around other macaws before. So we really didn't know what to expect. How did you think she was gonna do about the other, around the other birds? You know, that was the whole suspense and expectation yeah. that we were just like, wow, how she's gonna react it. We saw many different things, the wind, the mm -hmm. locations, and yeah. also the birds, because that was probably the main yeah. issues, how she's gonna react. And everything was just like fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at first I want to say Sunshine was kind of hiding in the car. Like she would do a few flights, then she'd kind of migrate over to her car and stay away from most of our macaws. But then we noticed there was a thing with Jinx when we went to a level three. So after we spent time at a level one, we realized she was okay around the birds. We went over to a level three, which is the backside of Castle Rock, one of our favorites, but the winds weren't very strong. And that place is kind of a location where you need strong winds to have a lot of fun. And so every time the winds picked up, we're like, whoa, let's fly. And we noticed that Sunshine and Jinx went straight together. They dove in the canyons. They had a really good time. And so we decided to take them on a really fun hike, one of my favorites, and it is Castle Rock Base Camp. So Claudia was kind of like, we're going on a hike. And as we start, she's like, how far is this? Where are we going? Up there? Okay. And she's a little bit like, when do we fly? What do we do? And then we got to the top. Oh my God, that was amazing. The wind was just blasting over there and the sunshine it was like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. So yeah. this was, really really cool we could not get over we just like okay you guys want to go it again and they just kind of you they know would just go and they exactly. were diving and copying each other and jinx really taught sunshine how to use the wind properly he was calling back and forth doing contact calls with her i think the winds were about 35 miles an hour and it was it was so much fun and so then today last minute we decided to come to the salt flats in salt lake city and this is where we flew morgan on the first day that we got here and uh, there was no wind. So it was perfectly a level one because there was no wind. Well, today we got lucky and we had about 25 mile an hour winds for both Jinx and Sunshine who are at a level three. And this location can go anywhere from a level one all the way pretty much to a level five where you can't recover because the wind will just push your bird away. So we got lucky and got somewhere in the middle at a level three and they were doing the same things where they were flying together, they, they were synchronized. Solid. Yeah, they were synchronized. Oh my God, seeing the videos, you know, when David catching them, just flying yeah. next by, side by side. Oh my God, those are amazing footage you guys gonna be just amazing to watch because we are there just so <laughs> jumping yes yes and yes. running alongside and running. oh my god that was unbelievable unbelievable that was an, a dream coming true to see sunshine doing all that Aww. you know this is what every every effort because it's not easy to travel with the bird and packing and everything happens in the last minute and stressful it's, you know jamie called me and say hey go ahead, hey hey let's go let's do it and i say oh my god yes let's do it and we did it it was a, a blast yeah and sunshine's now a level three so we're really she excited is, yes! 